Hi folks. Quick question for those out there. I got a very strange compression test here. So 4.30 to 17th, Monday. I changed the carburetor on this thing and I decided to rerun the compression test um, just to make sure everything was kosher. And I was getting less than 60. So while it was going round and round, I, uh, I hit the throttle. And if you guys could see that there. went up to 180. I didn't think these things were capable of compression up at 180. So anyway, um, that's obviously uh, a full throttle compression test. And if I recall, you're actually supposed to do a compression test with the, um, with the throttle opened. Uh, because if you actually have the throttle closed down, the choke closed down, um, you really can't pull all that much air into the cylinder for it to compress. Where if you open it wide open, the uh, it's allowed to compress. But um, 180 PSI, wow, that seems to be a lot of compression for this puppy. No wonder why my arm gets cranky when I... Uh, when I give it full throttle and I give it a yank on the string. I'm uh, fighting quite a load there. All right, folks, that just seems strange. Um, with 180 PSI of uh, compression, I'm not all that concerned about that intake valve. It, it's gotta be closing properly or I wouldn't be getting anywhere near there. Um, I, it, it would be quite a bit less. Anyhow, I don't know if anybody's seen anything like this. Um, feel free to comment, but once again, I think, I think you are supposed to do the compression test with the throttle wide open, choke opened and throttle opened. And um, so comment number one, uh, so I did the compression test right, but on one of these things, you know, close to 180 PSI for compression, are you kidding me? I mean, that's almost like uh, amazing. All right, folks, once again, thanks for watching, commenting, subscribing, tires down, handlebars up, live, love, and have a great time. We'll see you on the next episode of The Horde. If anybody out there could uh, kind of let me know, it just seems, seems a tad high for this rig. Thanks.